Why, hello there. I love spinny chairs. It has been a while. Again. And I am aware that I have taken lots of breaks on this channel, sometimes for good reason. There are lots of reasons why I've been struggling with art. I created a video in October where I went through lots of the things that I was panicking over, stressing over, excuses, stuff like that. So I guess this video is a continuation on from that video. So please go and watch that. One of the big things that I have been struggling for about a decade, but increasingly so, is self-confidence, confidence issues, low self-esteem, and I don't think people believe me when I talk about it. I haven't made a specialised video about that on my main channel yet. I've mentioned it frequently, but I haven't focused. And as a content creator, even on various social media, not just YouTube, I come across as confident, which gives the illusion that I'm confident and I feel okay in myself. That's not always the case, of course. Um, most of the time it's not the case. <laughs> and it's got to a point now where it's not just impacting us, but it's impacting jobs, relationships. It's serious. <laughs> but focusing more on arts, struggling. When I was at school, I was frustrated by the education system, but simultaneously there was a structure. I was contained by the structure, but it was a structure. So we would be given homework, tasks to do, and the wish to please teachers as well, to get marks. I don't know, there was just something about art and education that pushed me to do more. I felt better about the things I was creating. Even if I didn't like the things I was creating, I, f I felt better and more confident in the facts I was creating full stop. And my experience of art, I believe, was fairly limited. Whereas now, I am completely overwhelmed with the internet, with other artists all over the world. I was talking about inspiration with somebody the other day, and we agreed that sometimes people can be inspired by other creators, other artists, and it inspires them to do more. Whereas other people, struggle when they're in a proximity where they're surrounded by other people who are creative. And I honestly think I'm one of those people. The more I'm aware of, the less I feel I can do. And then I panic that I'm not good enough in comparison, and I don't want to do exactly the same stuff, but I've seen their stuff, therefore it's in my brain. Art is so varied, but from my experience, I've come across so many artists doing the same stuff, or so similar, especially in terms of illustration. So I feel better when I sort of cut myself off. Last year I read an article which listed the 10 things that make someone a good artist and one of the things on that list was involving themselves in the art community. In terms of sharing other artists' work and supporting their work, yes, I agree. But you sort of have to balance things out. I know I'm not the only one that struggles on this. Um, for example, there is a composer, the composer that did the Life on Mars series. He says that whenever he is commissioned to do compositions, he can't listen to other people's music. He has to lock himself away for a couple of weeks before he starts working so that it literally is his own work. He feels safe in knowing that he's not been influenced. So yeah, oh, I'm going on a tangent. But going bad to the not good enough. It is, it's like I've got someone inside my brain saying, not good enough. Art should not be a competition, but in terms of trying to earn a living from your arts, even if it's part-time, from that perspective, it can be competitive. In terms of pricing, what other people are creating, that I find hard. Changing topics slightly, when I was a teenager, I used to love creating, to show people. Every day I would upload my creations onto Daily Booth. Or YouTube, every couple of months I would make a big video and I would hold up all the arts or photography I'd done. Um, technically I've always done that, but there was a different sort of atmosphere when I was a teenager. Now, when I create something, I am scared to share it. I've created stuff I haven't shared in the last six months. I don't believe it's good enough. I am scared of the criticisms. <laughs> not that I am perfect and I don't deserve criticism. Of course, I'm not perfect. In terms of art, it can really knock your confidence, which is something I struggle with, therefore it does have an impact. So I've sort of reached a level where I can't share, and that's not good. Sometimes the pressure to be perfect stops me from doing anything at all. If I can't be perfect, if I can't achieve the highest that is possible, then I've failed. There's no point in me doing it in the first place. And that's been a consistent train of thought since I was a kid. The pressure turns into fear. I then stop myself from being able to do things because I'm so scared. In my brain, sometimes I feel like I'm not capable of doing the things I want to do, therefore when I do them, they're terrible, or I'm not proud of them, I'm embarrassed. 
And then it gets to a point where I can't pick a paintbrush up full stop. I stop painting and then I leave the art room and I don't come back for a few weeks. It's not just a case of your brain telling you you're not good enough, it stops you from doing anything. Give me a paintbrush, I can't paint. Uh, give me Photoshop, I can't create. The fear is so powerful that it stops you in your tracks. I just feel so scared of creating. It's like digital arts. Am I bad at digital arts or am I telling myself that I am bad and therefore I'm unable to create? And I don't know how to deal with this, this panic, this fear. It's not just in the art part of my life. This is all over. It is the same for applying to jobs. In my brain, I know there's things I can do, but when it comes to applying to the jobs, I get so scared that I won't be good enough or I will get the job and then I will fail in the job and be fired or have to leave um, that I struggle to apply in the first place. I haven't admitted that before. So yeah, it's not just arts. It's life, that fear. And I know I do keep making promises. I will do things, I want to do things. Um, and when I make those promises, I genuinely mean what I'm saying. Because I'm in such a good mood, I feel good about myself. I've had an art boost. And then the art's confidence goes down again. I mean, there are other excuses why I do take breaks. It's not just mental stuff, um, physical stuff, back troubles. There are days where even when I want to paint, I can't paint because it hurts so much or days where the back pain limits the amount that I can do. That, that's different to the mental aspect though. Sort of rounding this off in a way. As I said, I am moving shortly. I am trying to look at the move as a fresh start. A fresh start in terms of work, location, freedom. It will take a while to settle in. Lots of my stuff is going to be in boxes for a while. I'm going to start packing up the art room tonight but I want to start doing more arts when I move. I actually sat down to talk about a variety of things and I've just stuck to this one topic. I will have to sit and do another vlog in a minute on the big thing I need to talk about. But I hope this vlog gives you more of an insight into my brain and why I'm panicking and why I behave the way I do and why I disappear for periods at a time. Regardless of what I have posted, there is more in my brain. Hope it's made sense. Right, I am now gonna go and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>